Welcome back to another video, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of you in the comments are asking about an updated price video on Core. Yes, in this video, you'll get a brief introduction, only brief to the project, and of course, a full price analysis of Core, because we could be seeing some rapid price movements, either to the up or to the downside, of in excess of minus 60%, guys. This is very important. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video. <laughs> Once again, your support is always appreciated. If you do enjoy my content and want to support my channel, go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, and absolutely smash that notification bell. In addition, ladies and gentlemen, I am giving away access to one of our premium indicators at Market Spotter for someone who is to comment at the end of the video. That'll be drawn at every week on a Monday. But in this video, a lot of you have been asking about Core, what their price is doing, I want a price update. Well, in this video, I'm going to give it to you. And of course, if you did want a brief introduction on what is Core and an in-depth introduction on this Bitcoin EVM compatible blockchain, you can go ahead and check this video out right now. Very detailed, very nice. And this will give you a bit of a background as to why I'm giving a price analysis on Core right now. I am on CoinMarketCap and we can see all price action, there have been some rapid movements. I mean, upon launch here, we were at about $4.60. Now, Core really tipped off here after the uh, EVM ETH blockchain event in Mumbai where they did attend as well the team and you can see at $3.80 it went absolutely parabolic that was my last video parabolic the price has tapered off however and people are questioning what's going on a lot of volume coming in at 140 million um, however how much of that is made from market makers who knows however we are here to talk about it now First, I'm briefly going to touch on what is Core. Massive following on socials, guys, 2.2 million, but it is a Bitcoin powered, as I mentioned, EVM compatible blockchain, introducing the first ever implementation of non custodial BTC staking. A massive move for the Orange narrative. Yes, the Bitcoin narrative, the BRC20 narrative is absolutely massive, and they rode this very, very well. The question is, where are we heading next? And unfortunately, I can't give you any update on the release schedule of Core. The reason being is, unfortunately, uh, tokens.unlocks.app, a very nice website for understanding the releasing schedule of the tokenomics or vesting period of a certain token. You can get it right there. I can't get it, unfortunately, but what I can do is perform some technical analysis. Now, just before, now stick around, and just before I get onto the technical analysis, what is very, very important is that Core have been expanding their processes. We now have Core Scan. Yes, like a blockchain Ether Scan or any other BNB scan, or BSC scan for that matter, mind my French, you can actually check out Core Scan. They have it all here. Basically, by entering a transaction hash or an address, you can be searching and looking into your favorite little blockchain analytics, should you be that kind of person who wants to. Or, for instance, if you are to accept anything on this blockchain, you can then go track it um, and keep the information that way. It is really neat, guys. It is very clean, and I would suggest checking that out. This is another very promising feature for the narrative. But of course, you wanted to know the price action, and we are looking pretty iffy right now. This green line you can see right here is a level of support. Now, if we fall through this level, and I'm gonna go in and detail and explain it to you guys, if we fall, we could see it return to its all-time low, almost, minus its launch, at around about minus 60%. Do I think this is really going to happen? Unlikely not, and of course the Bitcoin price has a lot to do with the price action of Core as well. Money going in, money going out, uh, altcoin dominance and stuff like that. But obviously everything is pinned and led by the Satoshi. In any event, if I am to scroll in, what do we see? This green pivotal point on around about 0.93 is its level of support. The question is right here, are we going to bounce? to the upside and retest this crucial level of resistance right now, which was previous in my last video support, or are we gonna fall through and see that minus 60% to its all time low? Now, I don't think by all stretch that this project is done. I think there's promising things to come with Core for sure, but in addition, we must also and never underestimate the Bitcoin price and other fundamental events that could affect price. But let's take a look at some of the indicators because we can see on the daily chart right now from this level of support, which has played out Prior, you can see here, acting as resistance when we're under it, but acting as support <coughs> to the right side, excuse me, right here. 
we technically could be bouncing it if there's enough buying and demand for core. And of course, in addition to that, should the Bitcoin price make some kind of recovery, which it absolutely could, given the sell-off we've had. In addition, we could also be seeing here a potential sideways double bottom. It's not the most um, structured pattern, but this could be playing out. If this plays back, plays out, ladies and gentlemen, we are likely gonna have some kind of throwback here on the price and a push to the upside if we are to form a double bottom, which is basically a W, guys. It is a bullish pattern. Now, the question still remains, what are the indicators telling us where the price action could be going? This is on the daily chart, yes, which means that price action is going to take quite a lot more time to develop than that of, say, an hour or any less time uh, chart for that matter. If we do, however, the volume range volume profile is telling us all these bars are the level amount of volume at that specific price that is being traded for core. What we see is this red line, ladies and gentlemen, that is the point of control POC. And that is telling us that the highest amount of volume being traded for core is at, yes, $1.50. And we can see that, yes, that is going to be a level of support here playing out behind my head, level of support. We can also see it touching here's resistance. Resistance, we come above it, we fell back through. This could be a potential good trade. And the reason why, guys, the reason why for a short-term trade is because if we have this successful bounce to that point of control at about a $1.50 just here, that's 61% to the upside, no leverage. Now, here's the good thing about leverage, guys. Right now, we have Femex Exchange where you can sign up. No KYC is required as of yet for the Femex Exchange. By signing up, it takes two minutes to start trading. By signing up, you can be applying 50 times leverage to any trade. So you 50 times multiply 60%. It is pretty crazy. But this is not just a bad exchange. You can see I can be charting on the exchange. They've got uh, practice trading, copy trading, and also trading bots as well. This is tier one exchange, ladies and gentlemen, who has been around since the days of pretty much Bybit. Guys, Femex description is below. If you wanted to sign up, obviously do your DDs, but you can receive up 8,000. $800 worth of bonuses should you receive my link as well. Keep an eye out on this exchange. Core can be traded on there with leverage as well. Go check it out. It takes two minutes, guys. However, going back to the price action, this could be an ideal trade. I mean, 60% to the upside is quite attractive. So if we are to put a level of resistance here at around about $1.50 where we can mark um, the pivotal points in price right here, we can see, and we'll color that red for the purposes of resistance, we can see that's not a bad trade. I.e., I would be looking at this $1.50 mark to the upside, at least if we are gonna have a recovery in the Bitcoin price. Short term, if we flip this level right here in red, we are for sure, if the market conditions remain bullish and the project continues to grow, as it is with its core scan, for instance, we're gonna see the price easily retest this $2.30 to $2.35 mark right here. This would be a great retest and a, uh, demonstration of great strength with this project. There are so many other indicators. And of course, I did mention in the beginning of this video, I'm going to be giving away access to market spotters indicators. Yes, you can see the link in the description below, but to give you an example on one of them, this is called the Signal Sniper. It is gonna give you potential longs and potential short opportunities as well. This indicator is absolutely great for eyeing out your next trade should you wanna stay ahead of the curve and the market conditions. It is very, very good. There is one bearish thing I want to mention is the simple moving average. This is the daily, unfortunately, and is a 200 daily moving average. What this means is it does act as that level of support. You can see the price touching and trying to stay above, and when we're under it, it's going to be pushed down, okay? This is dynamic support right here. You can see on this blue line, we are below it. This tells us two things. It tells us one, the overall trend of core is to the downside momentarily, okay? And then the question is trying to catch the bottom of that downtrend to, to, to make a nice long trade. The second thing is that this is going to act as dynamic resistance, okay? Because the price is right here, meaning that we could come back up with the price of core and be testing this dynamic level of resistance. And this is going to shift with each candle is, that is represented and introduced on the daily chart. Now this could coincide with this nice level of, of resistance here and could confirm my potential long positions. However, I think we're gonna see this rapid 35% bounce should the Bitcoin price do it as well in the next week, guys. So this is very, very interesting. Overall, to give you a recap, I don't think we're gonna see a 60% to the downside. I can't seem to see their release schedule, guys. If I could, I would get a good understanding of the selling pressure that may come in to the market for core. However, I honestly believe that we may see some uh, sideways action now. 
due to the lack of a correction with the Bitcoin price to the upside, massive correction for that matter. And if we are to see some sideways action for core, we will end up seeing a retest of this dollar 48 to dollar 50 mark. This is a very, very, very attractive opportunity for me. Once again, if you are interested in trading with an easy exchange, a seamless exchange and a non-KYC exchange, you can see, of course, my link in the description below for Femex. Of course, always adhere to your regulations in your country, guys. That is it for today's video on court. Just a quick update for the price. It is very, very, very important. I'm enjoying this coin and I'm going to be trading it near into the future. Of course, comment below if you did want any kind of other content relating to this project or any other project and show some support. Like, subscribe, tick that notification bell. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.